You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. Well, and we are rocking and rolling when it comes to the business. Now, it's a, an interesting interesting week. Does it feel like it's the middle of the week to you? Uh, actually, it really does feel like the end of the week. We have had such a productive week in the We've first already two had a, days. Yeah, we had a full, like week. full week. We had a full week yeah. already, so it does kind of feel like a, a Friday already. My husband this morning said to me, Happy Friday, it's Friday. And it took me a minute. And I said, no, it isn't. <laughs> but he's uh, he's got tomorrow off, and so today is his Friday. Oh, it's his Friday. It is not my Friday. No, not, not, not my Friday either. But I do want to let some of our Friday listeners, those who participate on Fridays, listen on Fridays. Friday is very special around here. Which listeners should we let know? The Friday listeners. Okay. The, the people that listen on Fridays. All right. Yeah, that Friday, Friday is Fan Bragging Friday. It is Fan Bragging Friday. It's always Fan Bragging Friday. I don't right. care what when Friday falls, it's always a Fan Bragging Friday. However, er, this Fan Bragging Friday also yeah, happens to be Fan Bragging Fourth of July. Fan Bragging Fourth of July, we will be celebrating Happy like Birthday, swearing. America! Um, so we, Eric and I, will actually be marching in the Highland Ranch uh, Parade on Friday morning. The Experience Pros will be uh, walking the talk over there. Right. And so we still want your fan bragging stories, but we need you to write them in on our wall. So on face in Facebook, go to facebook.com slash experience pros. While you're there, like the page and share a fan bragging story. In fact, Eric, could we put a an American flag? We will. We will a, have something very patriotic. Very patriotic. We might have food. Oh, okay. So red, white, and blue food? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so you, just take a picture out of my uh, refrigerator. I'll I'll let red, white, and blue food. Let you handle the photo for the fan bragging picture yep. that is of positive, happy thoughts Always. and good stuff. So people can start now writing in your fan bragging stories, and we will just kind of sprinkle them through uh, the next couple of days. Um, and then, of course, we will be back live in the studio the following Friday. But we've already had some people telling us they're going to call in on Friday. Promises, promises. And so go ahead and... Program your phone with this phone number, 855-FANBRAG, 855-326-2724. And every Friday you can call in and fan brag. But this Friday, we want you to celebrate uh, with your friends and family and uh, go out and uh, have a good time. But write your well, fan bragging story on our On the wall, wall, absolutely. Hey, uh, happy anniversary to Teresa Grasmick, uh, Lions Share Properties, one-year anniversary. You know, that's, that's a big that's a deal. That's a huge, right? huge deal. That one year, I mean, you think about, remember, go back with us to your first year in business and how exciting. Everything was new. Everything was fascinating. Yeah. Everything was so optimistic. Everything was so much harder than you thought it would be. But it was so exciting, you didn't care. And you made it a year, Teresa. Uh, Teresa, of course, a member of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Fantastic. She does property management. And, uh, well, I'll tell you, when I, I used to, to be a landlord and what I wouldn't have given to know Teresa back then. She is fantastic. That's Lions Share Properties. You can find her on the Extreme Customer Service Directory and we just wanted to shout out because you know a one year anniversary is a huge thing in business. It is a huge, huge. Do not underestimate it. In fact, uh, if you are online, you can go and check her out, Lion Share Properties, and give her a little uh, little shout out, a little, hey, hoorah, congratulations. We're so proud of you because it is it is a big deal. Eric, are you a, a hunter? Are you like the hunting type? Are you that like manliness that likes to go out in the woods and just you and nature and? No, 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 not like you're describing. When you said hunter, I was thinking uh, tall blondes. Yes, uh, and, and food. I, I see why maybe food, they are yes. running from you. But uh, but no, I, I don't carry a gun and and hang out in the uh, in the woods. In. Well, it seems like every night at our home, yep. it turns into like. 
Jungle Quest or like Safari Hunting. You guys play that flashlight hide and seek. Well, we do play flashlight hide and seek, but these days we are seeking out the mammoth moth. Go. Oh. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, you everybody knows uh, the moths have clearly invaded. It is Miller time. Uh, I don't hunt them down. I have one moth in my apartment. Every night, one no, one big giant. But I just moth. have one. Oh, you just have one. Yeah, and he's up in the top in my bedroom. He's up in the top little uh, edge where the ceiling meets the wall, right? Mm-hmm. And I am content and at peace with leaving him there. Oh. He does not fly in front of my television screen. He, he does doesn't not fly get into your face. lampshade and go... No, 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 no. As long as he doesn't move and I don't bother him, we have peace and harmony together. Oh, you have peace and harmony together. Well, we do not have peace and harmony with the mods because it's like they're always running into the wall or they get oh, inside yeah. my lampshade and they're just... Thump, 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 thump. Right. And they're very uh, annoying. So we have created the Moth Relocation Program. Oh. And um, we all have our stations, manning our stations of lights on, lights off, closing doors. It is, we are hunters. Wow. We are hunters and we relocate. The mammoth moth. You know, I know some business owners who are like spastic, like that, and just just banging themselves against the walls and, and stuff. You do? I do. Am maybe I one we, of them? Maybe, no. No. We do no. we need to be? Do we need to be business relocation services? Maybe. <laughs> and do we all need to man our posts it's to help them out and to guide them into the light? Hey, folks. <laughs> It's the second of the day, and you know what that means, or second of the month. Back it up. Back it up. Brought to you by C-Square Computer Consulting. Take a moment to back up your uh, information. It is so critical, and it's so simple to do. You can cloud-base. You can do it uh, on a hard drive. Just back up your uh, data, because if you lose it, boy, you've lost more than just a few numbers and figures. You will cry. Crocodile tears. You will cry and cry and cry. Need more information? Call them over there or find them on, on the, the web at C Square Computer Consulting, C2CC.net. We'll be back after this. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. If selling is important to your bottom line in business, and it is, then how you sell is more important than what you sell. If your sales approach is old school and outdated, you're leaving money on the table. Sales expert Liz Wendling will absolutely help you update your sales language and transform your sales results. Stop sounding like everyone else in your industry and stand out, not blend in. Liz can show you how. Every minute you delay, you're losing money. Call Liz Wendling today, 303-988-9157, or visit online at EvolvedSelling.com. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com directory. 
Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Bragging Friday. The Experienced Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Grassroots Radio Colorado, today at 5 on KLZ 560. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560, The Source. Experience pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. Hey, uh, so many of the people who listen to this broadcast are entrepreneurs or would like to be entrepreneurs. And so, uh, you know what we do? We go out and find an entrepreneur expert. And our next guest is Barry Farah. Uh, I'll tell you what, he, he understands a lot about business. He's recently sold a suite of affiliated businesses to companies that he founded in 1991, his radar and satellite software engineering company uh, as well that he co-founded in 1997. He's an entrepreneur. And he's with us now, Barry Farrell. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. Oh, we're so excited to have you, Barry. Now we're going to talk about kind of the uh, the state of the Colorado entrepreneur and the the climate for building business. Uh, what's on your mind? Well, I think Colorado is a wonderful place to not only live but uh, to uh, start a business. We do have some challenges that we used to not have. It's a uh, what we would call regulatory creep. Um, we've gone from say it's uh, not so, dude. Oh, geez. Pardon me. Hello. <laughs> no, we were with you. I'm sorry. I was just giving a little sound effect to your regulatory creep. Uh, oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> very, very Come well on, done. Barry. Give us the news. For, Perfect uh, creep sound. Right. So we've in in a way to look at this is that the ranking for Colorado from an economic freedom standpoint used to be in the top five, really all the way up through 2007, and we've dropped to 22nd, so 20 mm. spots. Wow. In the, and the reason for that is regulatory issues that we've increased. So these economic freedom guys. Um, do an analysis based on a variety of issues, and their assessment is that we're headed in the wrong direction. So we've added things and um, uh, communicated to businesses in general that this is a less friendly place than it used to be. So that would be my my biggest concern at the time. You know, and we're seeing that. I'm hearing from some of my friends who are involved with economic development. They're going out to other to other states to try and and attract new companies here, so we can have some of those primary jobs brought into Colorado and some of the economics. Yeah, but we kind of we we're not looking so good to to the rest of the the country as a place to come in and and do business. So. Um, how how is this compared to? I mean, is everybody kind of falling down the the charts, or are some of our neighbors doing making better decisions and and marketing themselves better? Well, let's look at uh, Utah. Utah made a decision to um, commission a um, business friendly environment. So they did three things. They said, let's have uh, less regulation. And we're going to bring the business community, the education community, so the MBAs, the uh, 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 the uh, 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 trade schools, and we're going to bring the regulators in, uh, legislators in to the meeting. And we're going to force everybody to get along long enough to answer this question. What regulations can we freeze or eliminate? So the question wasn't can we increase regulations. <laughs> I think everybody felt like they had enough. They've dropped uh, by 387 their regulations. Now let's look at the results. During that same period of time, 
they were aggressively going to very well-known companies saying, we would like for you to come to Utah. We're not going to give you handouts per se, though they did in some cases give tax abatements. But we are going to invite you here with a long-term strategy that's very good for you as an employer. So in August of 2013, the net increase of Goldman Sachs employees in Utah was 1,775. That's their second largest office there in Salt Lake. Should have been Denver. They looked at us, but they decided to skip over us and give those, wait for it, $370,000 average pay jobs to Salt Lake City. And that's because they're business friendly, and the government communicated to them, we are a state of self-restraint. We're a humble state when it comes to the government. The government doesn't have the answer for everything, but it can work. It's, but it's not evil. It can work in if, if it's limited, if it views itself as being a servant. And so we work for you. We'd like to bring you here. And the list goes on. eBay. 1,800 employees, $334 million investment, Salt Lake City. So these are HR jobs, finance jobs, account management jobs. Um, all could have come to Denver. Twitter has a data, data center in Salt Lake. Oracle, $300 million investment in West Jordan in Utah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, so Barry, so you, there's, you, there's the partial list. Yeah, you've <laughs> they, established they, the case for Utah. Uh, what, do, what do we do? Is there is there uh, a thing? And, and I, I got about a minute left here. Uh, is there a thing that we can do to be more business friendly? Well, sure. We cannot intrude on businesses and communicate to them that they're going to have extraordinarily high uncertain risks. And so we have. Uh, communicated that locale by locale, we can potentially take away your property and not allow for uh, small to mid-sized oil companies to uh, um, responsibly uh, frack. We have communicated to the gun industry that um, we are going to control your um, c- capability to manufacture guns that would be um, understandable under the Second Amendment, and we've uh, had two of those uh, manufacturers depart. And so legislatively and from a regulatory standpoint, we're communicating, we're sending the wrong message. We're saying it's risky, potentially, to make a long-term investment in Colorado. Which is so frightening because that's kind of where we've uh, we're invested. You know, we've got a lot of businesses that are here, um, a lot of businesses that are a lot of people that want to make Colorado their home. Um, their families are involved here. Um, it's been the community that we've called home. Um, and so, can we take can I don't know? Can we make lemonade out of these lemons? Yes, I mean, we can. Uh, we can reverse the trend. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for here, but vote for folks that are saying that they're going to reduce regulations. Vote for folks that are saying that they're going to limit the size and the scope of the state government. And vote for folks that are saying that uh, they believe in economic freedom. Uh, those are the things that businesses want. They, they, they aren't um, uh, they don't care as much about certain issues as others do. You know, they, they, businesses, as a general rule, uh, don't. Um, but they, uh, they, when they're looking at a long-term investment, a three hundred million dollar investment for a thousand employees, that kind of an expansion, they want stability. They want a stable, low tax rate. They want the rule of law. They want property rights and limited regulations. It's pretty simple. Well, I know. All we have to do is communicate that, like we used to. Um, and as a result, uh, we'll be able to invite a lot of those uh, new expansions to Colorado. Well, I know you are a spokesperson for keeping Colorado competitive and Americans for prosperity. How, Barry, would our our listeners get in touch with you and uh, get themselves more involved and, and make a difference? Well, sure. Um, they can just go to the com website, and there's all the details there of how to get a hold of me personally. Um, and if they're interested in hearing uh, or having a, a, a talk, a discussion on either economic freedom or keep, keeping Colorado competitive, the website will direct you. So that's just Barry Farah, B-A-R-R-Y-F-A-R-A-H dot com. Barry, Barry Farah, thank you so much for being Absolutely. a part of the show today and for uh, sharing your insight. This was, this is, you know, if we can put our head in the sand and pretend it's uh, not really there, but this is really happening to us. So I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks for all you guys do. Absolutely. Folks, when we return, we're going to hear from uh, what the SBA says uh, you can do to grow a standout business. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network.
The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Back it up. Back it up. C Squared Computer Consulting wants to remind you to back up your data on the second of every month. Don't put off calling C Squared Computer Consulting until it's an emergency. Call 303 933 1113 today to set up auto checks, backups, and a lot more. Hire C Squared to be your IT department. Call C Squared at 303 933 1113. Online, find them at c2cc.net. Back it up. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30 second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com. Testosterone therapy. We've all heard about the benefits, but which method is safe? Hi, this is Dan Denai, Chief Operating Officer with BioT Medical. At BioT, we've developed the safest, most effective way to balance your hormones. Unlike synthetic shots, gels, and creams with many dangerous side effects, bioidentical, natural testosterone pellets are safe and beneficial to the heart, bones, brain, and prostate. Go to BioTMedical.com to learn more. That's B-I-O-T-E Medical.com. BioT, it's the right choice. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. The USO to Go program delivers hundreds of items like DVDs, video games, cold drinks, shaving cream, and shampoo to our troops stationed in remote locations. To donate and find out more, visit us at USO.org. Grassroots Radio Colorado this afternoon at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Welcome back to The Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. Hey, uh, did you know that you can build and grow a standout business brand? Even in small business, well, I would hope so. Right, I would hope so. I mean, if it's if you know standout brands were only for, you know, the really big companies, like which came first, you know, were they a small company or, you know, and grew into a standout brand because they, I don't know, you don't just one day wake up and all of a sudden, well, hey, now we're a standout brand because we've been in business for a long right. time. You got to put some pieces in a place uh, in there, and and uh, the SBA, the the Small Business Administration. Uh, has uh, has a, a number of resources that are able to help you do this. One of those resources is found at sba.gov. Karen Beasley wrote an article, and I thought it fascinating, so I thought I would share it with uh, with you. First of all, in order to have any kind of standout brand, you have to have a brand. 
You need to know what your brand stands for. Well, and I always, you know, when people talk about branding, I think that sometimes, you know, you think, okay, it's my logo, it's my colors, it's, um, you know, it's a thing. But it really is the promise. Right. Your brand is your company promise, and it's what your customers think your promise is to them. And, you know, I think, you know, we always, you know, I came up with my new business idea the other day. Peach Pit. Peach Pit. Just one pit. Not two pits. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you went all well, I, armpit on me. You went and said that you were starting a new business, and it's called Peach Pit, and you just now reinforced it. It's just one pit. It's one pit. Not two pits. Right. Not uh, armpits. Understood. <laughs> so you and your new business go out and do your thing. Okay, so pit. so the only thing we have so far is a name and a logo and some colors, which is what I think people think of the brand. Yeah, do you have a brand? I do. Well, uh, no, I, you do not. Oh, you've got, oh, I've you've got, got a name. A name. <laughs> you've got the sole employee uh, so those owner. Are the, the, those are the visual elements, right? The the logo, the font, the colors, but. The customer interaction and the type of information we share in our marketing and our social media and the customer conversation that is created, all of that the tr creates the promise of your brand, which is your business. Yes. So you think I should call it Peach Pits? Only if you want to include anyone else. <laughs> I'm just so saying. does the word peach pit mean like it's a no, solo producer? You're starting a brand new business while we are still in the middle of hours uh, is is cause for alarm. You don't want me using a certain phrase, so I won't. But my it sure makes it. Uh, I guess I'll be looking for a new job shortly. Is that what you heard? That is what everybody heard. <laughs> All right. If you want your brand to stand out, not only do you need a brand, you also need to be able to stand. out out. Now think about this for a minute. What does that mean? It means being different. It means being unique. What do you do uniquely? Well, and so often what we'll often tell people is I. I'm what's unique. It's my personality. It's, it's me. Which, you know, is great as long as you are available 24-7. Never take a vacation. Never take a day off. And That sounds like me. Oh, so you are really what makes you different. I'm what makes you stand out. You are what makes me stand out. <laughs> you are always there. Right. But differentiators for your brand, and I call it your dill pickle. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about a dill pickle on on a on a sandwich plate, you know, next to your your deli sandwich, doesn't not, stand out. Doesn't stand out. You get a dill pickle when you walk into the art museum. All of a sudden, all the pretension, all the snobbiness, and all the I don't know, pomp and circumstance goes away because just people kind of enjoying the community and coming together and, you know, chewing on their dill pickle. It's unique in that setting. So you can look outside of your own business and find the things that drive or attract you to other businesses and think, well, how can I incorporate that in my own? Grease Monkey, for example. You go in and you get an oil change. And you come out, there's a there's a fresh cut flower. It's on your seat. On your seat. Yeah. Well, that's pretty special to me to get some flowers from the guy that just changed my oil. Right. Yeah, and there's lots of different ways that you can stand out. Uh, again, and these are fundamentals, folks, uh, but but they're critical. you got to have products and services that are amazing, that are, that are great. You've got to excel in your offering. You also need to make sure that your customers know the face behind your product. And, and that's a big piece. You, your customers need to know the, the who, right? Amazon's got Bezos, right? I mean, the, the, you need to know. All right. So here's one of the things that I, you know, if, especially if you're in the beginning stages of creating a brand that's going to stand out and you're starting your business. And uh, maybe I need to rethink my, my business name. But how does it sound when people share it? And do you have to explain it? So um, if you've got a name that you know you have to explain, you have to spell out, you have to describe, um, you have to abbreviate because it's too long for your URL, and you kind of create all these little just subtle little roadblocks keeping people from doing business for, with you because if it's hard for them to remember or hard for them to pronounce or hard for them to explain, they're not going to. Right. They don't want to feel look stupid in front of their friends and family when somebody asks them, okay, how do you spell that? Okay, is there, you know, it's got something really quirky in it. Um, my son, when he started, he wanted to have a, 
uh, a name for himself online, you know, kind of a cool little little name for his logins and all of that for all his right. little YouTube channel and stuff. Yep. And so he took a, a name, but it was taken. So he misspelled it. He just moved the letters around to misspell it. Whoops. Well, you can't Google that. You know, while you're new and starting out, who's gonna get who's gonna get the Google search? It's gonna be your competition. And so don't just put an LLC at the end or an ink at the end. You're sending, you know, if it's already taken, move a different direction. Um, don't try to tweak it. Don't try to alter it because somebody else is already has the intellectual property for that name. And so, you know, be really cautious of how does it look when it's all jumbled together. Again, make a new words that maybe are a little naughty now that they're all night, like bundled right, up together. Right. Yeah, you got to be careful of that. And so um, I know that that's, I mean, that's a piece of the brand because, again, it goes back to the promise. Are you easy to do business with? Are you fun? Is Can I refer you? Can I recall you? Does everything uh, match the tone and the promise? Um, and does your logo match? You know, because the logo is the picture, right. right? And does it match up with what you want people to feel? Feel when they see it. Absolutely. Lots and lots of uh, different uh, different ways to help you build and grow a standout uh, small business brand. I just posted it to the Facebook wall because there's more than we have the time to talk about today. But uh, check out the article from the SBA. It is, uh, it's, it's worth your attention, it's worth your consideration, and worth more than a couple hours of uh, invested thought on, uh, on your brand and how you can uh, create yours to be standout as well. When we come back, Michael Russo will be joining us from all the way around the world in Adelaide, Australia with your unfair marketing advantage. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.ca. US. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera finance.com arthritis and gout suffers listen up you don't have to resolve yourself to a lifetime of pain Burt Middleton is a certified nutritional therapy consultant and a former gout sufferer that's right I said former gout sufferer whether you deal with rheumatoid arthritis or the most severe case of gout Burt Middleton can and will help you kill the pain quickly and permanently you need Burt Middleton the gout killer his nutritional and lifestyle solutions help you get the gout out check out thegoutkiller.com today or call Burt directly 970-485-5955. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylans, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. 
You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that Save My Business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business today and grow your business the experience pros way. Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show right here on KLZ 560, The Source. Every business has its own unique set of challenges and yours is no different. The experienced pros are your collaborative partners as they present solutions to common issues in business. And now, it's time for Up and Over from Down Under, featuring serial entrepreneur Michael Russo. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We do appreciate you for tuning in today. You ready for your unfair marketing advantage? I always look forward to this segment. Every week you can turn in, tune in, and listen to Michael Russo, who gets up in the middle of the night to share his marketing advantage tips with us. And he's actually been walking us through, live walking us through an actual campaign that he's been uh, conducting over in Australia. And it's been really fa fantastic to kind of see the highs and lows, the ins and outs, and all of the all of the steps that have gone into making this a, a really fun event. Michael, thanks for being with us this week. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, thanks for having me as usual. It was terrific, and our event was actually finished uh, on the weekend. We had our big uh, big event day on Saturday, which was terrific. So, Michael, uh, just just catch us up. How did it go? What what uh, what, what were the results and the takeaways? Yeah, look, it was really great. The event itself was actually designed for a group of high school kids. You know, they're going over to Vietnam at the end of the year as part of World Challenge Expeditions. They would spend a couple of weeks working, you know, in an orphanage with, a, with uh, underprivileged supplies for some of them. Uh, you know, all this sort of stuff. It's all about leading skills. So the event itself was actually a movie day is what the kids wanted to do. So rather than just have a movie day, we turned it to an event. And we had a celebrity movie day. And so we actually had uh, celebrity performers come down and people singing from The Voice here in Australia and also from Australia's Got Talent, obviously the Australian version. And, um, you know, our big movie day and we had a big auction on the day and prize giveaways. And it was great. It was a lot of fun. All right. All right. So uh, what more do you need to share about that? It was great. It was fun. With, did it do all you thought it was going to do, Michael? It did and it didn't. So today's session is all about the mistakes that follow running a campaign. So, so far I've given you the Facebook version of everything that's happened. Today I'm going to give you the real version <laughs> and I'm going to give you a couple of, uh, or not a couple, I'll give you four mistakes that we made in running this campaign. Remember this is a live campaign we've done over the last few months uh, and then give you strategies we can use to overcome it. So the first major hurdle that we had was that the school itself, despite the fact that the program was run through the high school, uh, actually refused to participate in the campaign, so they didn't want to be part of any, any fundraising, even though they endorsed the campaign, the, the actual trip for the kids, they didn't want to be part of the fundraising campaign. I don't understand the logic, but anyway. So we ended up with something like 30 kids that were part of the World Challenge event from the school, and only about 15 families transferred over to our group as part of the fundraising campaign. So that was the first thing, that we didn't have the backup or the support, the resources of the school. The second thing was that uh, the families that decided to come on board, over a period of about two weeks, this is about a month ago, they all walked off the job. So we, we ended up going from about 15 families or a dozen families, whatever we, our, our final figure was at the beginning, down to just two families. Mm. And so there was significantly reduced manpower. Now, I don't know why so many families walked off the job because all the kids were still going to the World Challenge. I think maybe the scale of the campaign scared them. I don't know what the story was. But the point of the story was we ended up with reduced manpower to do all the same amount of work, same financial commitments, you know, sponsors, all that sort of stuff. I mean, we ended up, the kids ended up doing about eight radio interviews. They ended up getting two stories in the newspaper. They, um, you know, we ended up getting uh, about 300 registered tickets, um, you know, sold prior to event day. We had a venue of about 400, so that wasn't too bad. We were looking for sort of that 300, 350 market as a minimum, so that was okay. 
So all these different things happen and we then had to find a way to make it work. So here's the major problem we had. We've now got reduced manpower and so we're trying to work out how do we fill a venue when instead of having, say, 20 parents to be selling tickets and kids selling tickets, we've now got, you know, say, two or three families. Um, do you want to hear the creative strategy we came up with to try and fill the venue? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, Michael, what you're describing is the, the, the plight of every man when it comes to starting a campaign. Uh, the enthusiasm is there at the beginning, and then all of a sudden uh, life takes over, and reality is that not everybody's as into it as maybe we are. So, yes, we absolutely want to know, how did you take your lemons and make lemonades or, or mar margaritas? Okay, so what we did is we actually, uh, you know, the main issue was we need to get bums on seats. You know, we had a big auction set up on the day with a professional auction company that was going to come in and, you know, help us sell items on the day. We had Michael Schumacher's helmet. We had Rappi on the Dow tennis ball. We had all sorts of different sporting memorabilia and heaps of other cool stuff. And the only way we we're going to get the money we needed for the fundraising and to send the kids overseas was to get that auction you know, people participating in that auction. So it wasn't just about ticket sales. We needed to get bums on seats. So what we did is we actually partnered with a, a whole bunch of different charities. And we basically, for, I'll, I'll give you the pitch that we did, for example, to the Red Cross. We said, look, we've got uh, 10 free tickets. We want to give your Red Cross volunteers. We're helping out with Red Cross and all this sort of stuff. 10 free tickets for you. And so what would happen is we would that email would go out to all of the Red Cross volunteers, and obviously there were hundreds, not just 10, and people would respond and say, oh, I want to get the ticket. You know, first come, first serve, people would secure their free ticket, and then nobody goes to an event on their own. They usually take somebody with them, and then they would buy a ticket along to the event. And so once we got through the first 10 tickets uh, that were free, people obviously brought their wives and partners, then any ticket after that people bought. And we did that with a number of different organisations, and that worked quite well to actually filling our venue. Does that make sense? It was a very simple thing to do, but it was very important for us to be able to get those bums on seat. Well, and I think that's what many, many people are struggling with is, is the attendance, the, the turnout, because if you've got, you know, when you've got a crowd, you've got that, the, the socialness of it that they're, you know, people don't want to miss out if they think, um, if they think everybody else is going to be there and they're, and they're going to miss it, right? That's right. That's right. And, you know, we couldn't just go to a shopping center and stand around and try and sell tickets out the front because we didn't have any public liability to cover that sort of thing. It was too expensive for us to do that. I don't know what it's like in the States, but they wouldn't let us do that here in Australia unless you've got public liability. So there's all these little, little issues that cause problems for us to actually sell tickets. And so, you know, despite the fact that we had a limited manpower now, so... You know, the point of the exercise is just to remember this. When you're running any sort of campaign, there's always going to be problems that come up. Now, we had some major issues with people walking off the job, um, but there are all, all times there's always something that's going to go wrong, and you need to be prepared for it or work out how you're going to deal with it when that comes up. In our case, we had to find a different strategy for actually moving tickets, and we went from something like 70 tickets four weeks out to, you know, almost 300 tickets on event day. So that's that's a pretty good result in four weeks with uh, only two people selling tickets. Um, the other thing was is that we had uh, issues with the group not being committed. We had issues with uh, media. You know, we actually had the local newspaper come out and do a radio story for us, and they actually did a radio story on the school, which was not part of our fundraising campaign. Does it make sense? So we ended up getting media exposure. We did a whole press release. We sent it out there, and they did a story on the wrong group of kids. <laughs> oh. oh, man. And I never got a thank you email from the principal saying, hey, thanks for that great piece of media that we got for you. You know, so all these little things, you know, happen. And, you know, if we were to take away our top three tips for today, that would be something like this. Firstly, Make sure you've got a plan because if you don't have a plan, you can't work out how to adjust the plan if things go wrong. And you've got to have some sort of a plan B. Uh, and the plan B is what's going to happen if you go wrong? What's your cutoff point if you get to this point and you're going to cancel the event or you're going to keep going? How are you going to make it work if these things happen? Top tip number two would be to make sure you have a committed group. Now, this can be hard sometimes if you're doing a fundraising campaign. If you're doing more of a corporate event, you probably have a bit better, a bit better commitment there because people are already invested. But certainly for a fundraising campaign, you've got to make sure you've got a committed group. And top tip number three, there's always a way to win. You've just got to find a way 
uh, you've got to find what that way is. So uh, anyway, those are our top three tips for today and the real life story of the campaign of the Facebook version. <laughs> mm. You know what? And we do. Isn't that oh. funny? You know, what we have to, what we put out and for marketing purposes, like we're, we're on stage and we're all systems go. The show must go on even though, you know, kind of like a duck paddling underneath, you know, we're just scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. But Michael, I, this is one of the things that we really appreciate about your segments with us because this isn't just theory. You're real. You're real. You're out there doing it. These are tried and true. These are the the mistakes. These are kind of the things that happen. Now, and, and this is also, you're going to keep going. You're going to learn from those mistakes. And that's what we hope that our listeners follow is just because it didn't go exactly as you thought, Maybe, you know, you had some challenges al along the way, but you pick up your bootstraps and you you try again. You don't give up, right? Well, no, of course not. And if you have a look at uh, a lot of major campaigns that are run, you usually find stories of people or organizations that have tried lots of different things before and they didn't quite work. So, you, you know, you've got to go through those. I mean, as it is, I've already been approached by a number of other different people to run different campaigns because they saw that when we start something, we finish it. And look, at the end of the day, this program was all run for a bunch of high school students to help them learn leadership and life skills. And what better skill can you teach a 15-year-old than to finish what you start? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very well when said. When we start something, we finish it. Yep. Michael, thanks so much for being with us. No worries. I'm going to finish my nap. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. All right. That's Michael Russo. You can find out more information about him at michaeldrusso.com. That's michaeldrusso.com. Hey, when we return, do you have a jerk at work? You know, a lot of people do. We're going to help you figure out what to do when you got a jerk at work. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Camp Experience is a one-of-a-kind annual retreat designed exclusively for women who are ready for education and inspiration and want to connect to a network of amazing women. Sign up for the camp event happening on September 19 through 21 at Cheyenne Mountain Resort. At camp, there's time to just relax and be a girlfriend as you refine your vision, reflect on your purpose, and enjoy top speakers and creative activities. It's also the perfect place to simply have fun. Register today for Camp Experience at CampExperience.com. Cheers, Experience Pro listeners. My name is Lisa Voss, and I'm the owner of the Denver area Tilda Kill Pub and Eateries. I'd like to personally invite you to check out the most vibrant happy hour in Denver. Each kilt features a tremendous selection of cold Colorado craft beers, as well as six delicious new appetizers priced from 2 to $5, such as our tasty whiskey beef skewers. Join us for happy hour, 3 to 7 p.m., seven days a week at either location, downtown on the 16th Street Mall or in the Denver Tech Center. I'm Bellevue and Olsen. Tilted Kilt, where cold beer never tasted so good. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business, and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. I remember the moment. 
Islamic. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. Several of us were working to rescue a family. The house collapsed on top of the cellar door and trapped them. We had to use Humvees and heavy machinery to move massive trees and debris. We got them out. We helped a lot of people out. It felt good to know I could really make a difference. Because I'm a citizen soldier in the National Guard. Be there the moment your community needs you. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and the station. Is your financial plan out of tune? Listen to The Source, 560 AM KLZ, Saturdays at 830 AM to Financially Tuned with Steve Hansen to get everything perfectly tuned. It's a new day on KLZ, so wake up with Randy Corcoran tomorrow morning at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Baby, think we never, ever agree. You like the movies and I like TV. Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Hey, uh, is your workplace a jerk place? Sometimes. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Uh, author and management consultant Ken Lloyd offered a couple of tips on dealing with office idiots. And, uh, you, you know, look, it's funny. We laugh about uh, those things that uh, on television sitcoms, right? Uh, people behaving badly, especially at work. Uh, the, the office is a classic example of uh, well, you know, awkward. I think that I think that in most situations, um, because you have a variety of personalities involved in any situation, I think there is going to be somebody at the office who is most likely to be voted the not nicest one at the office. Well, and and you know you're probably right though. You can try to create a culture where that's not the case. Uh, if you go around and say, "Nope, it's not that person, not that person, not that person, not that person," perhaps it's time to look in the mirror. Well, and that's always the thing, you know. In every in you know if in every family there's a crazy one, and you don't know who the crazy one is. It most ding, likely ding, ding. it is you. Yeah. And so does the same thing fall true to if if in every office there's a jerk in the office and you don't know who it is? Does that mean that it's probably you? Mm, not necessarily, but maybe. You know, what, what's the old phrase, if the shoe fits? Okay. Well, uh, what what does the jerk shoe look like? Uh, well, uh, it's the person who doesn't recognize the value of diversity, doesn't recognize uh, the value of, of finding common ground rather than arguing uh, all the time. Uh, it's the person who tells off color jokes or uh, I don't know how do you describe jerkiness. You're a jerk. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you just did. I think you know you brought up some. You know they they're abrasive. They're probably gossipy. They probably are always joking at somebody else's expense. Um, and uh, they're probably not nearly as amusing as they think they are. Mm. So what do you do? Do you just hope they go away by themselves? Probably not going to happen. Well, no, and they're not going to. I mean, you know, the the problem is, is they probably are decent at their job. And I'll say decent. I wouldn't imagine that somebody who, um, you know, has a, a history of, of, you know, causing discomfort, other people discomfort, is going to be excellent at what they do. Um, I, I've seen I've seen cases where they are excellent at what they do, but it's at a cost, right? And and the cost is the the sacrifice of the people that they surround themselves with, and that's uh, that's careful. Uh, you you got to be careful with that as well. So here's the thing: you need to challenge the behavior, and you need to be prepared. You need to challenge the behavior. You do. Who needs to challenge the behavior? The colleagues or the boss? The colleagues. Oh, well, colleagues? well, yeah. I mean, if it's affecting the colleagues, the people who are affected, um, you know, I had a conversation you know, I with somebody. I think that most people that if there is a jerk in the office, rather than confront them because it'll just make it worse and more confrontational, I would just avoid that person. It, it does. Not, see, you can just avoid that person and we go back to the other thing. If you ignore them, will it go away? It will not go away. It you will not. You yourself said so. So here's what I suggest. 
I suggest that you do uh, the confrontation in a productive way. You How see, can you be productive with somebody who is combative and is going to make jokes at my expense? You can look them in the eye and say, you know something, uh, the, the thing that you just said, uh, is is hurtful. It's hurtful to me. It's hurtful to to our office morale, and I would appreciate it if you uh, w would not do so in the future. You think Something, they'd receive that? Sometimes. Hmm. Sometimes they can. <laughs> do you think that they always never would receive that? I think um, I think stripes are stripes. All right, uh, th then we're not we're we're talking about two completely different things. If we're talking about disciplinary to the point of firing somebody because the stripes are the stripes, then then uh, we, we can go that direction. Uh, how to fire a jerk and not get uh, sued? But I was gonna say, so is that is that the goal then is to remove the person then from the situation? Or not when we office? started the segment. The start start of the segment was how to 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 working and and find a way to get along. I think it would be challenging for somebody who is a colleague to have to have that conversation so with somebody. So is challenging the, uh, the 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 reason that we avoid it, or it should, would be for me. Or should we step up to the challenge and do something maybe a little out of our comfort zone for the purpose of the greater good? But don't you think that the 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 jerk is probably far more assertive than than the other folks in the space. It depends on how you know, on the behavior of the jerk, right? Uh, you know, if if they're uh, an office bully, well, certainly uh, sure. that that could be uh, the case. But even then, I believe, and and I think I've got uh, some some pretty strong backup here. That if you are in a situation that is making you uncomfortable, the first thing you ought to do is go to that person and and face to face address the thing that makes you uncomfortable. You know, I've been I've been very rarely in a situation that has that has to address this issue, but um, I remember a time where the the there was a person on the receiving end of somebody's you know jerkiness, and it was addressed. And it and the, it it wasn't solved. So went to his sub, you know bosses, and, which is the next step. Which is the, the next, step. next step. And they were brought in. And here's what I see ends up happening more often than not, is the jerk tends to win out, and the person that's being on the receiving end of that ends up leaving, because you can't really. You can't really save it. Then, then that to me indicates uh, uh, both a managerial weakness and uh, a cultural um, anemia. And and that could be. I mean, that, that could absolutely. Yeah, if the jerk wins out. So so if you go to that person and say, you know, I got a, I got a problem here, and, and I'm I'm hoping that we can come to uh, a resolution for the benefit of uh, us working together and whatnot, and that doesn't do it, the next step is to go and bring in uh, a supervisor. If that doesn't do it, uh, then then management at that point needs to step in and sever the jerk. I believe. All right. Well, you want to foster a jerk fee, jerk fee, jerk free workplace, and uh, and put an end to all of that. And it can take place. I mean, it can just be represented in so many ways. Some are far more, some are subtle, and some are far, far more obvious. And I think when it's far more obvious, it's easier to step in and intervene. It's those subtle ones that you know they're just on the edge of making people feel uncomfortable. And so having that face-to-face -face conversation. And you know, email. early on, yeah. early on, um, you know, is far more valuable before it gets out of hand. Because I think what ends up happening is if it gets out of hand, somebody's going to leave. And more likely than not, it's the good person, the person that just wants to, you know, is tired of being bullied at work. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, folks, we got to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, uh, oh, don't forget, it is the second. It is the second of the month, so back it up. Brought to you by our friends over at C Squared Computer Consulting. Find them online, online at c2cc.net. Absolutely. When we come back, we've got more positive business talk, so please don't go anywhere. Uh, but go ahead and give somebody a 20-second kiss. You know what that is. It stands for kindness is so simple. It only takes 20 seconds to say something nice about somebody in business. <laughs> 
This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Legendary KLZ. 560, The Source. Another shot heard around the world on The Source. Basically what they're saying is we want to take more money from taxpayers to fund an agency that's going to then use that money to take even more money from taxpayers to fund a law that most taxpayers don't want. The whole thing is absurd. KLZ 560 at 560thesource.com. Today on Freedom 560 with Ken Clark. You may be surprised to learn who agents are catching trying to cross the border from Mexico. It's not just children. It's something much worse. The American public has been kept in the dark about this whole issue. This congressional report confirms members of Hezbollah have crossed the southwest border. It also contains photos of military jackets found on the border. The Arab insignia reads, Martyr, Way to Eternal Life. The other depicts a plane crashing into the Twin Towers. Terrorists crossing into America on today's Freedom 560 with Ken Clark. Noon to 2 on KLC 560. This is the legendary KLZ, AM560, KLZ HD Denver, and online streaming at 560thesource.com since 1922, KLZ Denver. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John DeMaster. Ahmed Abu Qatala, the only terrorist arrested to date for the 2012 Benghazi terrorist attacks, appearing in a federal courtroom in Washington, D.C. today. Republicans believe Qatala should be locked up at Gitmo. Court papers filed last night saying he's continued targeting Americans with deadly and destructive intentions. Also on this Wednesday... Hamas is a brutal, bloody, uh, horrible organization. The dead body of a Palestinian 16-year-old found in Jerusalem. Palestinians calling it a revenge killing for the three Israeli teenagers, Hamas being blamed for those killings, and former Israeli Ambassador Dan Gilmer saying for Hamas, terror is a way of life. They educate, they raise their children to become terrorists. You know, we raise our kids to become doctors and save lives. They raise their kids to become killers and take lives. Gilmer, a guest on Fox News. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Everyone is making the switch to the Blaze to make it their source for the truth. Why not make it your source for the truth? Make theblaze.com your homepage for news that the other outlets won't even touch. Subscribe to the Blaze TV at theblaze.com slash TV or on Dish Network and get access to original programming like For the Record, the show that exposes what's really going on that the government doesn't want you to know. And Real News, the daily conversation on the topics of the day that matter most. Check out the Blaze Radio Network at theblaze.com slash radio. Or if you need something to hold in, subscribe to the Blaze magazine. So basically, anywhere you need to go, you can take the truth with you by taking the Blaze with you. This is the Blaze. Truth lives here. So just to recap, anywhere you need to go, you can take the truth with you by taking The Blaze with you. Find out all the ways at theblaze.com. The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560 The Source. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Eric and Angel. Very nice to have you along with us today. Uh, I, I think I want to change my name. You want to change your name? Well, not just change. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm established as Eric Raymer, uh, but I, but I think I want to I, I want to put put in a, a new middle name or two. I'd like to be Eric Tim Howard Raymer. Oh, hi. So you can trend on Facebook or on Twitter? Right. All right, that's there you uh, go. I mean, uh, here's a good-looking guy who apparently has been named the new U.S. Secretary of Defense. And of course, we're talking about uh, the the, the footballer 
uh, uh, Tim Howard, the goalkeeper for the U.S. men's national team. I think I would like a little bit of that action right there. I think I need that Tim Howard. Girls are just fawning all over him. Okay, but did did you have you seen him? Have you seen oh, him yeah. in action? Do you yeah. know what he did? Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, sixteen goals uh, to saved. He saves. So yeah. so how are you? If you're going to have a little bit of that action, right. what are you doing? Go to... put his name in the middle of mine. Uh, uh, all right, and and then. Oh heck no! I'm not getting no no. You kidding me? Those balls come at you like uh, 90 miles an hour. No no no. no. I mean, no. Uh, if you're gonna have that name, you're gonna carry that right. brand. You're going to I'm ad- grow a beard. Okay, but then you've got to turn that into you got you got to put some action behind that. I'm grow a beard. I'm already bald, so I'm halfway there. You're halfway there. Got to get a tan. Uh, I'm I'm well on my way. You uh, think you think that a beard and a tan and his puts name you in the middle of mine at the same caliber. Eric Tim Howard Raymer. Okay, I think I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have Angel David Beckham Tussie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, there's, there's an appeal to it, isn't there? There is an appeal. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, wow. What well, kudos to uh, the U.S. Men's National Team. They did a great job, and uh, they should have their heads up high. What a classy guy, though. I've seen him on a, a number of different uh, interviews, and uh, everybody wants to make it about him. And he, he broke records since 1966, right? Uh, what is that, a 48-year record? Uh, and yet he's humble, and he's like, it's not about me. It's about the team, uh, which I think we should all take as a lesson. Oh, you know, I, you, I think we appreciate that kind of, you know, attitude is that it is about the team. We're all working together. None of us got here all by ourselves. We had to work together to make this happen. It's funny that you knew exactly how many years 1966 was. When, when were you born? After that. After that. Yeah. Not by much. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Couldn't have been for you to like rattle off. It was this many years ago. Yeah, thanks very much for uh, noticing that and calling it out. Hey, uh, do you ever have to interview somebody in order to uh, increase your business productivity? We've got great job interviewing techniques coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Back it up. Back it up. C-Squared Computer Consulting wants to remind you to back up your data on the second of every month. Don't put off calling C-Squared Computer Consulting until it's an emergency. Call 303-933-1113 today to set up auto checks, backups, and a lot more. Hire C-Squared to be your IT department. Call C-Squared at 303-933-1113. Online, find them at c2cc.net. Back it up. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board-certified physicians. When your case is on the line, 
Call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560, The Source. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, tomorrow morning at 8 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Everybody's talking to me. I don't hear a word to say only the echoes of my mind. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. Do, do you have on occasion the need, necessity, opportunity uh, to hire new folk? Um, on occasion. Uh, on occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, it, this has been one of uh, uh, the things that we have done in, in many occasions this year. And uh, so I, I thought, well, how how do you how do you go about those interviewing techniques without making your your interviewee feel like you know you're handing them a stapler and saying sell it, sell it to me, or or having you know some really off the wall question that's going to throw them and you're going to watch them you know stammer, and of course you know how does that put somebody at ease? I think don't you? I mean, you do want to see somebody and how they handle. They handle difficult situations or deal with the pressure, especially if your if your company has deadlines and, and there is some pressure to it. And most of us have some pressure, so you want to see that they're not going to crumble. However, I don't know. It kind of almost reminds me of the the parent that you see your kid climbing on the chair, and because they might fall, you knock over the chair. Have you ever? No. Okay, this is probably just that like a parent our, should be. Like, you know, it was like a, Something. I don't know, if I saw it on TV or a, a movie, I don't know, but it's like, well, he might have fallen, so I'm teaching him that he might fall Holy cow. Off, that, off that chair, so Why'd we push over the chair. Gravity do it or something. Well, right. You know, some sometimes, this is what I'm thinking, is these things just kind of take care of themselves. They're, the pressure is built in to the job interview. They're already dealing with being under pressure. Let's not kick the chair out from under them. Here are some great techniques from CIOinsight.com. Uh, that will help you uh, identify some cool or maybe not so cool uh, interview e things. So check this out. Number one, take a seat. Have the candidate sit before the interview for 10 to 15 minutes near some other employees. See if they try to engage in their uh, engage their potential future coworkers. And if so, how so? Or do they just sit there and twiddle their thumbs? Oh, interesting. Right? Oh. You know what? Here's funny. because Here's funny. I remember having somebody come in who was interviewing for a position and who didn't really engage with any of the people around them when they were here. And I thought it was odd, mm -hmm. but I never put my finger on it until you just until you just said that. I thought, well, they didn't really, they didn't really engage. The, and we're a very engaging, interactive absolutely. This, culture. This shows you... Uh, you know what what you should be looking for. I mean, you know, have them sit down and see if they engage. All right, see if they engage. Okay, right, ready especially for... if that's important. Number two. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Create an observation station. If they've interviewed with another manager or peer before you ask, uh, oh, excuse me. If they've interviewed with another manager or peer before you, ask for their impressions of that person. Are their impressions accurate? Is this person perceptive? 
Well, I always think it's a good idea to have uh, more than one person engage with with the interviewee um, because you are going to get different perspectives. Right. But here's the the thing: not different perspectives about from from. Let's say you were interviewing somebody, and then you had me talk to them, and then you and I came back and said, "What are your perspectives?" No, ask the candidate what their observations are oh. of the other employee and or Ooh, manager. No, you're walking on thin ice there, mm -hmm. because I mean they can't be. I mean you just can't. No, uh, yeah, no, mm -mm. no, I, no, 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 because. If their observation is anything but positive, are you are you really looking to bring in somebody that is already speaking negative of your team members? Not negative. It doesn't have to. If if it's negative, then the answer is no. You don't want to bring them in. Right, but I bet. What are your I observations? Think well, they seem to be very astute. They seem to be uh, well versed. They seem to uh, uh, be very analytical. Um, I am again. The interview I goes both ways. Taken. I think the interview a, goes both ways. Uh, I think. I think it's an uncomfortable com here, question. Here's a, what. <laughs> Stop avoiding discomfort. Uh, it's okay to experience. In fact, it's necessary. You know what? And it's okay to experience comfort. It is. It's but... okay and it's necessary. <laughs> Here's another one. Do they ask questions about you? Does the interviewee ask questions about you? Do they attempt to find common areas of interest and shared values? Is the conversation a two-way street? Well, we hope that you are, as the interviewer, Taking time to listen, I think that is just as valuable. And, and you know, we're so excited to share. This is who we are, and this is what we do, and da 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 da. da that we'll take up all the allotted time allowed. Right. Well, and and here's here's what I think that they're, what they're trying to say over here at CIO Insight is uh, rather than just having your interviewee answer your questions, are they asking questions of their own? Because the interview goes both ways. Remember, they're Are you allowing you. them, though? That's the, that's the key because, part. Because they're trying to be respectful to you, and you're the one leading this conversation. You called this meeting. Right. So you get to lead the conversation, and so are you allowing them the opportunity to even ask questions, or are you just steamrolling all over them? Number four. And then go, they didn't ask any questions. Find out what they do in their off hours. Do they seek out competitive or creative outlets? Now, you have to be careful there. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Do it within the letter of the Where law. Where you go to church. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but, but you have to do it within the letter of the law. But but are they competitive? Are they creative? What you know? What, what do they do uh, on their off hours? Uh, here's the next one. Um, ask if they've ever won a contest, work-related or otherwise, and what they had to do to earn it. Oh, have you ever won a contest? Many. Like, give me an example. I uh, was an award-winning uh, web designer. Did you have to enter the contest, or did. yeah, you had mm -hmm. to submit? Absolutely, had to work hard, make sure uh, you you followed all the regu rules and regulations. These things tell you whether or not they're detail oriented and or whether or not they're uh, go getter and they want to compete. Hmm. All right, uh, here's another one. Get a sense of whether they make inquiries that speak to their pursuit. Uh, the pursuit of clarity of details. In other words, are they asking questions that are going to help clarify their mission? All right. All right. All right. Sometimes they just want a job. Sometimes they do. And if you don't mind just giving anybody a job, then, then that's fine. Here's another one. Ask them to summarize something that you described earlier in the conversation to assess whether or not they both listen well and they understood it. You know, there's, you know, and you see, if you see, and this is in any any conversation, if they're nodding and smiling, chances are they don't get it. Right. They're too, but they're too nervous to ask because we don't want to look stupid. No. Finally, find out what their first job was. If they work to buy things or they pay uh, for their school when they were younger, it demonstrates a worth, work ethic development early. So, So go all the way back to the first one. What was your now first what job? was your last job? Uh, my first job, I was a manager at uh, Anaheim Computer and Video. Okay, so it wasn't a childhood thing. At 16 years old. At 16, you managed a store? Yes, ma'am. I'm special. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. All right. 
There you go. All right. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, some great job interviewing techniques. Thanks very much to CIOinsight.com. Folks, when we return, business tips and insights coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Testosterone therapy, we've all heard about the benefits, but which method is safe? Hi, this is Dr. Gary Donovitz. At BioT Medical, we've developed the most effective way to balance your hormones. And unlike synthetic shots, gels, and creams that come with many negative and dangerous side effects, bioidentical natural testosterone pellets are safe and beneficial to the heart, bones, brain, and prostate. Go to BioTMedical.com. That's B-I-O-T-E Medical.com. BioT, the right choice, the safe choice. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com if printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day. Change it the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune into the Experience Pros Radio Show, weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. If you have an old car that spews out stinky exhaust smoke, donate it to the Clear the Air Foundation. Learn more at cleartheairfoundation.org. Sponsored by the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association and aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. Hey, uh, it's Business Tips and Insights, and you know what that means. This time, this day of every week, we get to talk to Cheryl Braunschweiger. With ALMC Mortgage, where all loans must close. And they do. Hello, Cheryl. Hello. How are you two today? Fantastic. Good. What are we talking about? Well, I thought it would be prudent to talk to people about how to prepare for a mortgage. So, you know, it's, hey, you know, I'm tired of being a renter and now I want to buy and, oh gosh, my lease is up next month and I have to buy immediately. Oh. 
it doesn't always work that way, especially if you've got some things to take care of and, and kind of get your financial house in order, so to speak. So sometimes that's not going to happen immediately. You know, it might take you a few months, a few weeks. You know, there's a lot of documents that you have to gather. There's credit, you know, situations to consider. So really being a, a good buyer is what I wanted to remind your listeners about today. Help me help you get the best transaction, the best closing, the best house that you can ever have. Which you think, you know, it's, it's okay, I'm going to buy, and it's obviously, it's all going to be the best, but there are so many moving parts and so many variables, and if you just think you're going to navigate that on your own, you're going to be in for some surprises. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to be a good buyer like I am a good buyer, because every time I go up to a beautiful blonde woman, uh, she says, goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. So how do we become a good buyer? No, I want you to say yes to the address. I want to be able to help you be able to move in um, and have a, a smooth transaction because, you know, it's very stressful. It's very emotional. We've talked about this many times. Um, you know, so having all of your stuff ready, so your pay stubs, your W-2s, your tax returns, your bank statements, your proof of income, all of that stuff is really important because I'm going to ask for those. And if you can't readily get your hands on them, it then delays the process and, again, makes you more frustrated. So having all of that stuff together is really important. And in fact, I have a whole list of the items that you need on my website as well as on my blog. So if you're even thinking about looking for property, take a look at the list, start gathering documents, make sure that you're ready to talk to me so that we can have, again, a smooth transaction. I love that you have a list on your website that I, I can go to. I do. And the website is almcmortgage.com. And there is a list of documents to be ready, documents to be prepared with. Now, granted, it's an all-encompassing list. So not everything is going to apply to every borrower. But it does give you a pretty good idea of what we're going to need to talk about so that I can help you get that great pre-approval before you go out looking for property. Now, Cheryl, I know that this will vary on many different circumstances. But you mentioned... all this within within this uh, less than 30 day period about how much time I mean if we are renters and we do have uh, a lease that you know where we rent you know have a sign an annual lease about how far in advance would you just safely cautiously recommend we pick up that phone and start doing our homework so 60 to 90 days um, if you know that you have documentable income, good credit, things like that. If you have credit that needs to, that has some challenges that we need to work on, six months at least prior to needing to move out, we want to start at least evaluating, taking a look at it, and making a plan. I'm a big planner. I like lists. I like to plan things. I like to know what's ahead of me so that there are no surprises. Closings can take place in 30 days, but that adds to the stress. If you've got 60, it's not so much so overwhelming for people. All right. Well, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So look at your uh, lease. See when it's up. Plan backwards, 60 to 90 days. And then find a phone number. And Cheryl, can you help us with that? I certainly can at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. You can also find them at almcmortgage.com where all loans must close. And they do. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, your business financing and making sure that you get all your accounts payable, uh, caught up in, uh, in helping you actually serve your business, which means we need to know Jack Loudon. Well, talking about 60 to 90 days out, I think for many of us, if we're looking at our accounts receivables, we have terms that are 60 to 90 days out, and it's a very different world. And, and uh, so we're going to talk with Jack Loudon, where it, if you don't know Riviera Finance... You don't know Jack. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing? Sorry. I was trying to line that whole thing up, and it just kind of... Yeah, I kind of... It's okay. He's like, I watched that. So see, <laughs> it was fun. Jack, what's going on, brother? Well, uh, guys, I want to talk about growth um, of your business because with growth becomes working capital becomes a challenge. And where do you get it? How, how do you gain that working capital without creating debt? You know, it, I remember, Jack, when we first started out, I think people have a plan for in the beginning for how to capitalize in the beginning. But once you've been around for a while, well, now we have to grow and we have to expand. And now where do we go and how do you do that? Because all that original funding. Uh, 
including Colorado, for the fourth straight month small business growth. Wow. So it just reminded me of where they're going to get their working capital. Right. With rapid growth comes challenges. Rapid spending. Absolutely. Sometimes. <laughs> exactly. So what we can do is we can take those uh, outstanding accounts receivables, work that, or product that's already been done and you're waiting for the money, and we can just advance it to you um, tomorrow. And then, Ooh, that sounds so good. You've already, you've done the work. You've created the terms. It's already all in motion. You're just waiting for the money, and you're waiting, and you're waiting. Sometimes those 60, 90 days. Well, 30 turns into four, net 45. Net 45 sure. turns into net 60. And if you're in the oil field business, a lot of those guys, it's 60 to 90 because they can. Mm. <laughs> 90 days is the norm. But yet, when we work with Riviera Finance... That can be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. We'll run the credit check on, on their clients. Uh, we do a complete accounts receivable management, and then you can spend your time on growing your business and have the working capital to hire employees, to buy raw materials, to buy um, to just make your company grow much rapid. And so instead of chasing down and having a department and having somebody who's focusing on trying to get these accounts receivables collected on, because sometimes it's just not even an option. I mean, I would pay you if I had the money, but you have to wait your 60 days or your 45 days. So you guys come in and kind of seamlessly take that whole, whole piece over. Exactly. We, and we advance up to 92% of the uh, of the invoice. So if it's you know $10,000, we'll send them 9200 bucks. If it's $100,000, we'll send them 92000 Whole number's easy math. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and so big, big numbers like that. Absolutely. Um, we just approved a deal last week um, for uh, a million three um, in accounts receivables in the next six months. Premier Finance has been around for a while. You guys have yep. done some good stuff. Exactly. Well, we've been around since 1969. Uh, last year, calendar year, we purchased over $1 billion, that's with a B, uh, in accounts receivables nationwide. You know, and and it's a cost-effective way to get your money now. Uh, not necessarily a long-term solution, but something that you can absolutely leverage to your advantage. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, it's, again, we want to um, solve problems uh, and help you address your challenges, uh, especially when it comes to money. All right. Where do we go? How do we call? What do we talk to? Let's let's get the contact information. They can easily call, contact me at my office uh, here in the tech center. It's 303-409-7706. Uh, they can reach me on the web uh, by email at jlouden, L-O-U-D-E-N, at rivierafinance.com. Um, and I'll be happy to answer any of their questions, sit down and meet with them, and uh, see if there's a fit. Well, they can help your business grow. And if, when, if you need capital and you can't wait to be paid, get in touch with Riviera Finance. Jack is right here in the tech center. We'll come and talk with you. Fantastic uh, for helping you grow your business. Knows what you need to grow your business and wants to come alongside and be an advocate for you. The phone number one more time, Jack. Certainly. It's 303 409 Seven seven zero six. All right. Well, again, Riviera Finance. If you don't know Riviera Finance, you don't know Jack. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylons, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Arthritis and gout sufferers, listen up. You don't have to resolve yourself to a lifetime of pain. Burt Middleton is a certified nutritional therapy consultant and a former gout sufferer. That's right. I said former gout sufferer. Whether you deal with rheumatoid arthritis or severe case of gout, 
Middleton can and will help you kill the pain quickly and permanently. You need Burt Middleton, the gout killer. His nutritional and lifestyle solutions help you get the gout out. Check out thegoutkiller.com today or call Burt directly, 970-485-5955. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple. No debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at ALMCMortgage.com. ALMCMortgage.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the extreme company. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the extreme customer service directory to take care of you. Extreme here be sure to tune in for the dinner you'll hear on radio it's radio you can trust right here on the dennis miller show tonight at 10 p.m it's the dennis miller show right here on klz 560 the source wake up with randy corporan five to eight tomorrow morning on klz 560 the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. In this economy, speed is critical to your business success. The fast get results first, and they transform the marketplace. So uh, you know uh, that company Xerox. Um, you mean like the copier? Them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they have a uh, a very interesting article out there. This is there are ten tech tech wise tips to help you drive your efficiency in your business. All right, I want to hear the top 10 tech-wise tips to drive your efficiency, but we just had Jack here in the studio, and as he was leaving, he let me know that um, the Riviera Finance office here in the Tech Center, Yes. it just celebrated on July 1st, their one-year anniversary here. Another anniversary? Yeah, yeah. You know, these things are happening all around us. And and business is growing, and people are excited, and they're thriving, and we're getting business done, we're not listening to all the naysayers that say it's hard when it can't be done because it's happening and it's happening within the Experience Pros Network every single day. I love hearing those success stories. So, top 10 tips for ways, ways technology can help your business drive efficiency and improve productivity. And number one is double your display real estate. So I don't know if you at home or in your office you have uh, a, a computer screen, uh, but you can actually pair that up with a secondary screen and create a workstation that is twice the size Ooh. or many times the size depending on the size of the screens. Fancy. You know, you always see in the movies where they've got all these screens and it just looks like NASA. Right. Or create right? your own NASA. And here, here's why. Instead of having to switch from one application to another in rapid succession, have them open and your workspace is far less cluttered. Really? Yep, I've, really, done, really. I've done it many times. I've actually heard it is far more efficient than clicking back and forth. You know, having the multiple screens, and you do. I think you feel so high tech. Absolutely. 
It Absolutely. really does declutter your desk, too, I would think. Well, you know, it, it, let's talk about, uh, you know, the move has been to reduce the size of our computer. Uh, you know, I, we, you and I both have a 13-inch diagonal uh, computer screen. And there's only so many things you can have open and be able to see on that surface area. But what if you were to have uh, a couple of two, two 25-inch screens? Now, mm -hmm. now you got mm -hmm. terrain. You can bring it up to the. To, uh, some of us are getting a little older. <laughs> Need to bring up the the font size uh, uh, a click or two. Did you know that on your smartphone yeah. that there's a setting that makes everything larger for your your old eyeballs? Is it your husband that uh, found this out? Uh huh. I figured. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Not that he has old eyeballs, but he might. Well, yeah. I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens. It does. So, um, yeah. So, increasing the font size, you know, making the the screen bigger, making it easier to uh, easier to look at, and less strain on your eyes is always a good thing. Absolutely. Number two, get on the same page. You've seen movies, TV shows, or maybe you've talked to the Experience Pros radio show where uh, we hold a daily meeting. We have goals, and uh, we talk about the direction of the day's work and whatnot. It also works for you. Keep it brief, focused on making decisions, sharing factors that could create bottlenecks like short staff, late del deliveries, etc. Use technology to uh, include, include those in remote locations. For instance, let them Skype in. You know, and, and it is so, I mean, these days we can be in all across the country in separate places and still feel like we're in the same room because of the video technology. You know, it used to be with um, conference calls, you know, you had a speakerphone and you know, people are beeping in and then they're there's somebody has joined the meeting and oops sorry I got I got hung up on um, we're often multitasking and you can hide that when you're when you're uh, just on speakerphone or you might not even be you could be at the beach and be on speakerphone and nobody has to know it it does kind of change all darn the video yeah, technology yeah, so sometimes hey uh, if you run five or more printing devices uh, perhaps it's time to consider a technology driven print service uh, a document solution that uh, will cut costs and uh, help resource your, uh, your situation. We love working with our friend Rob Roy over at North Star Digital Imaging right. because of their document solutions that they have. These things are amazing. The technology they have, yep. you know, it's not just a little Xerox copier anymore. No, it's not your grandma's copy machine. If your business is going through a ream of paper or, or more a month, you owe it to yourself to reach out to Rob Roy. It's very cost effective and the fun stuff that you can create in-house is quite quite impressive. You can find North Star Digital Imaging on our Extreme Customer Service Directory and Rob Roy is such a fun character. He's always offered gluten-free digital copying uh, products. Yes. Uh, the Baker's Dozen. You uh, buy 12, the 13th yeah. one is free. Yeah, and in fact, I recently heard a commercial, another national brand was talking about having a gluten-free product. Yep. And it was funny because it reminded me, Rob Roy's always done it. Yes, he and, has. Uh, and so now it's catching on. Indeed. Uh, share. Share your processes. Uh, even routine processes and activities uh, tend to get lost in, in translation. And if it's up to you to go to this file drawer, to pull it out, to pull it, show it to the, the new employee or whatever, uh, bring on something like Dropbox and share your documents. You know what it's been? You know, these days it's so easy rather than, um, you know, having to email it as everybody needs it. It's all uploaded. It's all there where everybody on the team has access to. Um, it just is smart. It's just smart because we're not all in the same place anymore. Absolutely. And speaking of uh, sharing those processes, make sure that your uh, information is organized and archived in easy-to-use logical structure. Curb that clutter. Uh, get, it, get it all organized under folders where uh, even I can find it. That's right. what I would say. So, Okay. I'm starting to think, okay, how could we, what could we name those folders? Eric, look here. Eric, this open this one first. Maybe. Eric, Eric, don't open this Maybe. one to make sure that he does. So we have a, we have a <laughs> Dropbox, all right, and uh, our staff have access to the Dropbox, and we have the Extreme Customer Service Directory, and many of the files that are uh, staff 
oriented on the Extreme Customer Service Directory in our Dropbox are updated on a regular basis. All right, but they're not always put into the Extreme Customer Service Directory subfolder. Oh well, it's you a little find confusing. Them anywhere, it's a little confusing it sometimes is. if somebody's filing system doesn't match your filing system, right. and some of us might have very unique ways that we file because alphabetical just is so archaic. Yeah, uh, go paperless. Look, if uh, if you can, why not? Right, it, it's uh, it's a digital world these days, and they can be located and retrieved faster than their paper equivalents. So go paperless. You know, having the technology, it is it is there, but it's sometimes we just get into our old habits. You know, this is the way we've done it. This is the way it's always been, and so to make the change, sometimes just isn't that obvious. And you know that we need to do that just because well, this is our system and this is working, and everybody has their part that they play in it. And so recognizing, and when you go someplace else, you say, oh, wow, that's all digital, that's all automated, that's all electronic, that's all online. Well, I bet you that's going to streamline some systems. And it really can. Number seven, recycle and reuse. Uh, you don't have to reinvent the basics. You know what? Form a template and use it often. We like templates around I here. I do like templates. Mm -hmm. I do like templates. All right. Uh, retool your toolkit. Today, there's an app for almost anything you want to track, monitor, convert, or schedule. There's also improved productivity tools uh, in nearly every software update. Leverage the new technology to help you remember and track your action items. Innovations like cloud computing make it easy to stay in sync between multiple devices and locations. All right. Number nine, cut the cord. Wi-Fi, really. Uh, these days... Wi-Fi. You know. Wi-Fi. It doesn't. It's not always available. As much as you, we think that it is, it just isn't always. All right. Uh, number ten. Explore the possibilities. Cloud-based storage, backup, and content management services are growing. Their economies of scale and support are becoming more attractive, and maintaining these services uh, can be done easily. So explore the possibilities if you're not using a backup uh, or cloud-based storage kind of a, a situation or content management situation. Maybe it's time to go back and take a look. Thanks very much to Xerox, office.xerox.com, uh, for this article, which uh, has been interesting. That ain't interesting. Well, you tend to find you, out. You, 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 you looked at me and kind of gave a little grin like, Angel, time to move into the next century. We'll be back after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Cheers, Experience Pro listeners. My name is Lisa Voss, and I'm the owner of the Denver area Tilt a Kilt Pub and Eateries. I'd like to personally invite you to join us for a quick and delicious lunch at the Kilt. Our food is made from scratch and served in one of the warmest and friendliest establishments in Denver. Join us on Mondays for our $10 steak special or on Tuesdays for our $5 build your own burger with fries. Join us for lunch at either location, downtown on the 16th Street Mall or in the Denver Tech Center on Bellevue and Ulster. Tilt a Kilt or cold beer never tasted so good. If selling is important to your bottom line in business, and it is, then how you sell is more important than what you sell. If your sales approach is old school and outdated, you're leaving money on the table. Sales expert Liz Wendling will absolutely help you update your sales language and transform your sales results. Stop sounding like everyone else in your industry and stand out, not blend in. Liz can show you how. Every minute you delay, you're losing money. Call Liz Wendling today, 303-988-9157, or visit online at EvolvedSelling.com. Camp Experience is a one-of-a-kind annual retreat designed exclusively for women who are ready for education and inspiration and want to connect to a network of amazing women. Sign up for the camp event happening on September 19 through 21 at Cheyenne Mountain Resort. At camp, there's time to just relax and be a girlfriend as you refine your vision, reflect on your purpose, and enjoy top speakers and creative activities. It's also the perfect place to simply have fun. Register today for Camp Experience at CampExperience.com. 
Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. I'll never forget that moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I'm As long as I'm here. It started with a phone call. I got the text when I was at work. My first call ever as a member of the National Guard. This was it. The real deal. When we got to the armory, they briefed us on the wildfires. How they were getting dangerously close to homes. It was amazing to be a part of this massive operation. Helicopters were going up with huge buckets to drop water on the fires. Some of the guys in the unit were preparing for firefighting with local fire crews. We went out in Humvees to help with the evacuations. At that moment, I got my first case from just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Discover what it means to be a citizen soldier, to serve locally as well as globally. Look into the benefits including career skills and money for college. Take a moment. Go to NationalGuard.com today. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard and by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560, The Source. Haystack Help Radio, today at 4 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We appreciate you for tuning in today. Hey, if uh, you were aware of a fantastic organization that uh, becomes a resource and tries to find uh, housing, obtainable housing for single parent families, would you would you be on board to help support that? Well, we are hosting an event tonight for she she's or at she she's corner, benefiting the James Resource Network. They are putting together affordable housing and already have off offer resources for single parents and their children. Right. Lots of um, financial and emotional uh, resources are available to them. But in, last year, they hosted their first annual. Old Bag Bash. I was expecting to see a whole bunch of old ladies. Well, what we saw was a whole bunch of very gently used, well-loved, but no longer being carried designer handbags right. being auctioned off. And last year, there were 100 handbags donated for the Old Bag Bash. It takes place in October. So we are kicking off the campaign for the Old Bag Bash tonight at Shishi's Corner. The address is 7562 South University Boulevard from 6 to 8 p.m., Catering by Ivy at the Glen, the beautiful restaurant in the streets of South Glen. Let, let's just park the car right there. Love that food. Love their uh, their service. And you will be impressed with the spread that they put out tonight. We're allowing Eric to have this food moment. Yes. All right. So tonight <sighs> we will be having uh, just – you know, business networking, our visibility event. It is an open event. You are all invited to come and network with us. And then if you would like to participate, if you would like to be a collection site for designer handbags between now and probably September, they're looking to collect 300 designer handbags. And you know, ladies, you don't want to part with it. It was, it meant something to you. You, we become attached to these things, sure. but we're not carrying them anymore. And they're just sitting in our bag, so or in our bag, in our closet. And so let's share the love and let's donate them to a good cause. So if you have an old bag, if you know an old bag, uh, you, you please bring it tonight and uh, come network with us. Come hang out with us. Find out what uh, this uh, Experience Pros Network is really all about. Well, I'll tell you what. It's super fun, super exciting, and um, successful, proven success happening through the members of the Extreme Customer Service Network or Extreme Customer Service Directory with Experience Pros. So tonight, 6 to 8 p.m., We'll be at Shishi's Corner and invite you to come along as well. And then um, it, because Fan Bragging Friday this week falls on Friday, 
Oh, July 4th. July 4th. Independence we, Day. We will be out celebrating the birthday of our country. Eric and I will be, uh, well, we'll be marching in the Highlands Ranch Parade. Or. We have put out a call. Wouldn't it be fabulous if we had a convertible hot little Mustang or yes, something that we could ride in the parade with? So. Um, if you have a convertible and you would like to drive us. You could drive us. You, know, you don't even have to loan it to us. You could drive us. Right. Um, in the Highlands Ranch Parade on Friday. But leave your fan bragging stories. We're going to post a picture of, I thought, patriotic food, right? Well, we're gonna, it's going to have a flag. You asked for a flag. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know that 73% uh, of Americans also grill on, on, on this day. How many percent? 73 that's actually lower Whereas than I on it was. Memorial Day, only 54% of Americans grill. I mean, it's like National Grill. It is. Right? So there, there will be flags and there will be food. All right. And you can post your fan bragging stories for us to share and to read because Fan Bragging Friday continues on whether or not we are in the studio. But of course, program the number 855 326 2724 into your phone and call us next Friday with your fan bragging stories. That's 855 Fan brag. Now, it is summertime, and our summertime marketing campaign is in full swing. We have a broadcast tomorrow featuring our ComCorp computer services. Hey, that's Rick and Kim Race are going to be here. Absolutely. They just had their ribbon cutting at the Loveland Chamber earlier this week. They've got exciting things going on, and so tune in tomorrow to listen, get some tips on how to keep your marketing going all summer long. Um, I'm actually going to post out a question on our Facebook wall, too, for people to share some of their summertime marketing tips, making sure you don't lose momentum in the summertime. And so thrilled to feature them this week, every day, for the every week for the entire summer, we'll be promoting our summertime marketing campaign. So uh, this morning, uh, my, my morning ritual, my, my morning uh, get, a, get, a, get ready to go to work kind of a thing uh, involves... It sounds so fancy. It, well, it, and it is. Uh, it involves turning on a little bit of music so that I can uh, shave to the, to the rhythm of the groove, right? Okay. And I turned on the Billy Joel channel on Pandora. Shave into the rhythm of the groove. Right, right. I should try that. And I, I, I turned on the Billy Joel channel. Right? Okay, on right. Pandora. All right. That seems like groovy shaving. Right. So I got Billy Joel. And then next what came on? Pour Some Sugar on Me with Van Halen. <gasps> That's my song. I know. Apparently it is. But it, I didn't invite that song. Oh. I wanted the Billy Joel channel. Oh. Okay. Right? Def Leppard. Oh, Def Leppard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got it wrong. Uh, then, then you know who came up? ACDC, Back in Black. I got that one right, Charlie. I know that. Uh, okay. Uh, then, then you know what came up? Jimi Hendrix, at which point I said... I, I thought I, you had the I Billy had shaving, Joel. I, I know. So I stopped my uh, foaming and, and, and grooving and shaving and cutting, and I pushed stop. Stop it. And, stop it. And what the did more they I have thought a... about it, the more confused I got. And I'm like, what? What the heck just happened here? This is not the Billy Joel. Pandora must have uh, underage people who don't know how to categorize or tag their information. And I posted a photo of it, and I'm like, oh, I'm confused, and I'm frustrated. And uh, and the Kimberly writes in, and she says, you know, same thing happened with her. All she wanted was Led Zeppelin, and she got not, you know, none of it. Somebody, uh, I understand, you know, Billy, Michael Bublé, maybe a little Rod Stewart, Guns N' Roses, no. All I wanted, I was in the mood for a love song or two, right? Well, and, do you want to draw a bubble bath? Should we light some candles? No, no bubble baths or candles or anything like that. Susan writes in and says, I wanted to do a train channel. She got, she says, it added Maroon 5, Gwen Stefani. And I thought, oh, nothing wrong with that. It's kind of close to, to train. She says, I'd rather find an all Pink Floyd channel. And then Mandy writes in and says, is there one, you know, is there a channel that does one of all one artist? Yeah, they call that Spotify. Um... John Brubaker says, I guess Pandora must be in a New York state of mind. <laughs> a nice one, John. Not sure about that. But out of all of that, uh, interestingly enough, one of my friends writes me a private message and says, can I ask you a personal question? Sure. She says, are you in love? Oh, are you? I said, nope. What? 
<laughs> no, he's blocking love. No, no, I'm not blocking love. I'm not in love. She goes. I said, why would you ask that question? She says, well, you call your place the Love Shack, and now you're looking for love music, you know, love love tunes. And I'm like, you know what? Once a lover, always a lover, but uh, very content with my stage in life. But not in love, but a lover. Yeah. That actually does describe you perfectly. It really does. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. All right, so did you did you just humph the whole music thing and give up on it, or did you like switch to your own playlist? No, perhaps? I turned it off and uh, shaved with with uh, without the groove. Shaved without the groove. Mm -hmm. Groovenless shaven. Yep. Hey, uh, speaking about uh, the groove, we got to get out of here so, uh, you know, that, that next guy gets in. Ken and, Clark is and, like on deck, thing. ready to come in. Right. So on behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show happen every single day, we say thank you. Thanks for tuning in participating in this, the revolution in how people treat people in business. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KLZ. Today on Freedom. 560.